This is a routine fecal emulsification for dense white cataract. As you can see, it's a brunescent cataract. So we'll start by creating main incision. This is 2.2 millimeter incision, uni planner. And this is the side port. Now we're going to inject stain into the anterior chamber to stain the anterior capsule. Then air. As you notice, I'm injecting the air through the side port, counting on the self seal configuration of the main incision. So we can inject more stain on the anterior capsule to get more or less even stain on the anterior surface of the capsule. Now we're going to wash the stain. Yes, yes. Injection of OVD. As you can see, there are some liquefied cortex underneath the capsule wash. You can see those particles are moving and this denotes that the lens capsule is overstretched by the liquefied cortex. Inject OVD. So I'm aspirating as much as I can of the liquefied cortex to reduce the pressure inside the capsular bag and this might prevent capsular or tear run out during rexus formation. So I'm injecting more OVD wash rexus forceps Basically, we are going to start creating a small rexis, a kind of mini rexis. Then, we're gonna to enlarge this rexis when we have some confidence in the direction of the tear. So, as you can see, this is a kind of small rexis intentionally, and then we can enlarge it in a spiral fashion. As you can see, I'm leaving the OVD cannula in my left hand just to inject OVD when necessary all the time. Trying to keep the flap as I can in the center part of the anterior chamber. And again, continue rexus formation. Again, I'm going to direct this flap into the center. Wash. So I'm going to now to close this rexis. It's a kind of five millimeter rexis or maybe, maybe less. So we can enlarge it a little bit more. This flap might cause some tension on the side of the tear, so I'm trying to keep this flap in the center. Maybe we can inject some OVD to pressurize the anterior chamber. And then we can move forward to continue our flap creation. 
Now this is a reasonably good size rexus. 